Hello everybody, my name is Adrian Iliasiu and I'm an engineer with the DevNet team. So we're at the point of summarizing and seeing what we've covered in this course and what do you think, why do we think it's important for you to actually know this uh, information and what are the next steps. So on the what we've covered side, we went over what is Cisco SD-WAN Vinay was showing you uh, the architecture, how we've evolved from the old school WAN circuit to the modern SD-WAN uh, architectures and uh, solutions. Then he also showed you all the components of the Cisco SD-WAN architecture, the V-Edges, the V-Manage, the V-Smart, and the V-Bond. And then we've covered the V-Manage REST APIs. What is an API? What is REST? How does it work? We've covered after that the documentation, critical point here, make sure you start at the, right, at the right place and we think the REST API documentation and the link that we've had for you over there and the presentation that we've had, we think it's a good start for you to get familiar with it, see how you can authenticate, see where all the calls and how the, the REST API is organized. Then we started interacting with the vManage, so we've had a look the vManage interface, we went quickly over the dashboard. I showed you um, the monitor, the configuration, the troubleshooting options in the graphical user interface. Then we cover the Swagger documentation. We've seen how you can, on the vManage instance itself, do try out API calls, see how they're organized. And we've discovered all the devices that are part of our fabric. We've seen the status of those devices in that section. And we've also had a look at the statistics on all the interfaces, on all the devices in the fabric, and all the values and how to extract that data and parse it and extract only the values that we're interested in. Next, we had a look at Postman. We've seen the collection and the environment we have ready for you on GitHub. You're more than welcome to download, clone that repo and start using uh, the Postman tool add your own calls over to the collection, and make sure you experiment with that too. Um, so that was from a third party perspective, outside access basically to the API. So at that point we took it outside and we showed how you can generate code with Postman and uh, how uh, to actually start using that code right away. The next step was our first application that we developed using the um, REST API, so it was our Python script that we went in great detail over all the options um, from device list to template list to attached devices to a, to a specific template. We've seen all the functions, we've seen all the libraries that we've used in there, and then we had a look at attach and detach functions that were basically attaching a template to a specific device and detaching it in a programmatic automated fashion with our Python script and our Python functions that we wrote. So that was pretty much the course and all the knowledge that we wanted to convey here and to show you how you can start from no knowledge at all about what an API is to writing your first application and being ready to extend the platform and integrate it with other third party applications. So why do we think the APIs are important? Uh, there's, there's many use cases out there. This is just a subset of what I was thinking personally. So on the network programmability and automation side, by developing and interacting with the API, you get um, access to this platform and the fabric at a level that is, was not necessarily available before. So yes, there's CLI available, but that user interaction is not developed in a way that machines can interact with it or programming uh, environments can interact with it. So the REST API provides that missing piece of actually taking and managing, monitoring, configuring the fabric in an automated and programmatic fashion. We've seen this with our application that we developed. We've been able to attach detached templates in a programmatic fashion so you can take this and scale it to your own environment or apply it or change it however you see fit. And then you can also modify the fabric policy dynamically and automatically in a programmatic fashion 
You can take advantage of DevOps tools. You can take uh, advantage of tools like Ansible or other tools that require um, possibly a REST API interface. Now it's provided by the Fabric. And you can also integrate with chat ops solutions like Cisco WebEx Teams, in which you could have a bot interacting with the API and doing configuration changes based on specific use cases. Or you could have alerts generated and have them integrated with third-party applications. So you could optimize your operational workflows by integrating uh, the fabric with CRM, ticketing, or monitoring solutions out there. You can have these also add-ons on top of the fabric that you think are, are useful. Wrapping up, I have some additional resources here for everybody. I'd like to quickly go over them. Developer.cisco.com is where everything starts. If you're not a DevNet member yet, um, please feel free to become one at developer.cisco.com. That's our main website where everything else is linked out of. Uh, you can find a link to learninglabs.cisco.com over there. Our learning labs, you'll see their content also specific for SD-WAN. If you want to follow along, it's a step-by-step -step basis over there. We have several learning labs taking you also from no knowledge at all what's an API to becoming proficient and being able to write your own applications and your own scripts, in this case, using the Cisco SD-WAN fabric and the solution. Also, I'd like to mention the DevNet Sandbox. We've used in this course the Cisco SD-WAN Sandbox. You can find it there and many more other sandboxes readily available for you um, at no cost at all. Next, I would also like to mention Code Exchange. Code Exchange, I've mentioned throughout the course, but is a platform one point location where you can find code and sample from other people that are trying to share this with the larger community. So you can go. You can clone the repos that are there. You can submit your own also code or applications that you want to share with the community in the code exchange platform. Um, next will be the blogs.cisco.com slash developer. Keep an eye on it. Um, I write blogs also over there. Uh, my colleagues write blogs on, and you can find anything from Cisco technology to blockchain to everything that we find interesting and want to blog about you'll be able to read our blogs in, in there, and you're more than welcome to have a look at them, comment, and let us know how we're doing. Next, of course, is the SD-WAN REST API documentation. Right here, I have the link readily available for you, and also the public GitHub repo that I've set up for this presentation is out there. Clone it, copy it, change it how you, how you see fit, contribute back, let me know your feedback, uh, what you would like to have in there, and uh, I'm more than happy to help out and also reach out to, to our team that's uh, there for, for helping the community grow and be prosperous. So that is really all I had. Thank you so much for watching this course. Um, I hope it has been informative and helpful for you. If you have any questions following this, like I said, let us know. Follow me on Twitter, um, send me emails, watch the blogs. And um, thank you so much again, and see you on the next one. Thank you.